everyone, welcome to my video. So, I first of all just want to say massive, massive apologies for the huge delay in me putting this video up on my channel. Not to go into too much detail and be really boring, but we had some issues in our house over kind of the Christmas New Year break. We had a major gas leak, which meant we had to move out, and that basically delayed me doing everything and Today is pretty much the first time that I've had the opportunity to sit down and film anything because it's just been so chaotic, it was just an absolute nightmare. So huge apologies for the delay in this video. Second of all, just want to say, I know that what I got for Christmas videos aren't everybody's cup of tea. I myself absolutely love to watch these videos. They're literally one of my favourite videos to watch. I filmed one last year so I really wanted to do another one this year. If what I got for Christmas videos aren't your thing, then no need to watch this one, just click off, go and watch something else on someone else's channel. But if you do enjoy what I got for Christmas video, please do stick around and watch my video and I really hope that you guys enjoy it. Let's get started. So one of the first things that I got for Christmas from one of my friends was this really lovely little letter kind of trinket tray. I guess you would just kind of have this kind of on a side table and just put kind of nice little bits and bobs in it. Perhaps you could put just loose change in it or you could probably put bits of jewellery in it or kind of hair accessories or basically whatever you fancy. It's quite a nice sized little tray. I have no idea where it's from because there's literally no labels or writing at all on it but it's kind of nice. It's this lovely kind of off-white and gold colouring which just looks very pretty. That was one of the things that I got for Christmas and I think it's so cute. I really like it and I'm looking forward to kind of finding somewhere to put it and putting all my bits and pieces on there. So that's the first thing I got. The second thing I got from the same person actually was this candle. Now I love candles. This friend of mine knows that I love candles. I have many of them dotted around my house and so obviously she took note and bought me a candle and I haven't had one of these candles before. This is a completely new brand to me. I don't think I've ever seen this brand before and I haven't explored it but what I'm very excited about is that this is actually a soy wax candle and this is by a brand called Produce Candles and this is actually rhubarb flavour and it is beautiful. It's such a lovely scent. I love rhubarb scents anyway, particularly when it gets to kind of spring going into summer. It's such a lovely, fresh, pretty scent. So I'm really excited to have this and I think I'm going to keep this in my cupboard until spring summer time and then I'm going to bring it out and probably burn it a lot because I love the smell. It's beautiful. My next gift was from Swarovski. This was from my mum and every year she buys me a Swarovski Christmas ornament and I love that because every year when it comes to getting the decorations out I find these Swarovski ornaments and I know they're from my mum and they're kind of a little bit sentimental and I love the fact that I'm kind of collecting these up every year and they are always so beautiful. They're such kind of sparkly special decorations and this year was no exception and actually this was kind of a really different one to any of the others that I've had before and this one is really pretty and very very festive. It looks like this and obviously as you can see it says joy in red, kind of a ambery yellowy O and then obviously the green Y. So it's in beautiful very festive colours, very sparkly, very special and something that I do love to pull out every year. Obviously these are very delicate and you have to be very careful with them but they're so beautiful and I'm always really really pleased to receive these every year so love that too. I also got a lovely perfume. This is the 50ml My Burberry perfume. Now I absolutely love this bottle. I think it's so beautiful and I do like bottles that look kind of really pretty and very aesthetically pleasing when they're on the dressing table and this one certainly fits into that category because I think there's just something about it that's just very elegant it's very simple I kind of love the shape of the bottle with this beautiful chunky tortoiseshell lid with the lovely beige ribbon that goes across it and obviously because the most important thing about a perfume clearly is the scent it's a beautiful scent I really love this perfume and it's kind of one of those that's been on my to buy list for absolutely ages and I've just never got round to picking it up so I was super super happy when I saw that this was in amongst all my Christmas presents because this is definitely one that I'm really looking forward to using perfect for this time of year it is a perfume that I really really like and I'm very much looking forward to wearing it I think I'm going to get a lot of wear out of this really really pleased to have received this love it I also received actually two of the beautiful Jo Malone 
crackers. I love Jo Malone, I make no secret of that. They're beautiful products, I love the company. The packaging's amazing, every scent is beautiful. It's just a brand that you really can't go wrong with. So I was super happy to receive two of these crackers. And what is inside this cracker is a basil and neroli cologne, the blackberry and bay body and hand wash, and a mimosa and cardamom body cream. Now, all of those scents are beautiful. Blackberry and bay, I'm particularly excited about because it is one that it's been around for a while, but I feel like I've completely overlooked it. There's been others that I've explored more than Blackberry and Bay, so I was really pleased that there's Blackberry and Bay in this. So super happy to have received those. I love these sort of mini sizes that you get in these crackers as well. The perfume size is 9 mil, so it's very small, so perfect for carrying around in your handbag. And the Basil and Neroli scent, though it's not necessarily one of my favourites, is a very fresh scent. So actually very nice to carry around in your handbag because it really does just make you feel kind of fresh when you spray it on. So that's a great one to have in the cracker. And love the packaging, everything about Jo Malone. Like I said, you really can't go wrong. So super happy to have received two of these for Christmas. Another great gift. I then also received this very lovely little notepad, stay cosy shopping list from Marks and Spencers that comes with a little pencil. I am a great one for list making. I make lists all the time. I feel that's the way that I can keep everything organised and it means I don't forget things. As soon as I know I've got to do something, I, I write it down on a list instantly. And it's very satisfying to tick things off a list when you've done it. It just makes you feel better, I find. So. I do love a good list and this pad is pretty, so really, really pleased to receive that too. I also received this lovely Ted Baker nail polish set. Now, there are four nail polishes in here. It's called the Perfectly Polished set. If I open it up, you can see how beautiful the polishes are. They are such pretty, feminine, really wearable colours. Just super easy to use. They're those sort of colours that just if you just throw them on really quickly, you haven't got a lot of time to paint your nails and you just put these on quickly, they make you look really kind of put together and very polished. So really, really pleased to receive those because I haven't tried Ted Baker polishes before. I know they are more of a fashion brand, but I have noticed they are branching out a lot now into cosmetics and things. So I am looking forward to trying these and like I said, beautiful, very pretty, very feminine colours. So really happy with those two. So the final few things that I wanted to share with you guys are, first of all, I got this lovely Monica Vinader bracelet, which I'm currently wearing, but I'm gonna do a close up of this because it's so much easier to show it as a close up rather than on, you won't be able to see it very well on. And it is by Monica Vinader. It comes in a beautiful box, was beautifully packaged, and I adore this bracelet. It's a really unusual design, very modern. I know they come in different thicknesses, and I think the theory is that if you want to, you buy a few and you stack them up. I love just having this one individually on its own. And then I have a couple of other bangle style bracelets that I may stack up with it, not necessarily the Monica Vinader ones that go exactly with this one, not the matching ones, but I think it'd be really nice to just use this as one of a few stacking bracelets. It's a really different design and my husband had it monogrammed for me with my daughter's names on it, which is just so lovely. It's such a personal touch and I'm so happy with it. I wear it literally, I've I think I've worn it every day actually since Christmas. I love it, it's really comfortable to wear. And this actually is the petite size, which is great because I sometimes struggle with bangles because I have quite petite wrists and I find that bangles are really uncomfortable and they tend to just fall off and they're quite annoying. But this one is in the petite size, so it fits really well and it is very comfortable to wear. So I'm so, so happy with this. Then from my husband, I also got in this lovely box. This was the Dior kind of Christmas themed box. I got a Kristen Dior card holder and it came all beautifully wrapped up and it comes in its own little white Dior dust bag and if I open it up you can see that it's this absolutely beautiful Dior card holder and it's in this very lovely I'd say maybe wine red it looks like it's actually coming up brighter on camera than it is in real life. It's actually a very, very deep, dark red. Sort of like a burgundy, maybe, but I would say like a deep wine red. And it's patent, and I love it. It's so beautiful. It's got a large slot in the middle for cards, and then it has two slots right at the back 
for cards as well and then it's got the beautiful Dior hardware that's hanging off the side here it's just clipped on so you can actually take that off if you don't want it on and obviously it has all the sort of classic Dior stitching at the front of the card holder as well card holders are amazing I have another one and I use it all the time. This was a really great gift. And also I like the fact that it's coloured, so obviously when it's fallen to the depths of your handbag, you probably will be able to see this because it is a colour and not kind of black like everything else that I have in my bag. So if this falls into my handbag, hopefully I will be able to see it and just grab it quickly. So really, really pleased with that. A beautiful present. It feels very luxurious. It looks very luxurious. I'm really, really happy with this. Love it. So the final gift that I'm going to share with you guys is in this little dust bag here. Now I had no idea I was getting this, I had never seen this before so I was so excited when I got this. This was such a great gift and so unexpected so I'm so happy with this. And if I open it up you can see what it is. Oh, I love this so much, it's just so lovely. This is a Givenchy Antigona cosmetics case. I'd never seen these before. This was from Selfridges. I'm pretty sure that the black one is actually out of stock now. They do it in like a very vivid blue, a cream, and also like an oxblood red as well. I think the red one is also sold out, but the other two I think are still available. This is... I just love this so much. My mum actually very, very kindly bought this for me, and she knows how much I love my Antigona handbag. So she was pretty much on a winner buying this without me knowing about it because I love that bag so much and this obviously is very much in the style of the Antigona bag. This is so beautiful. It feels just as expensive as the handbag. It looks as expensive as the handbag. It's kind of that same textured leather that's really, really hard wearing. And it's just got the beautiful silver hardware with the similar little Givenchy flat area bit there and it comes with this really lovely super chunky wristlet and they call this a cosmetics case but I actually think you could get away with using this as a clutch bag because I think it would almost be a waste to hide it away as a cosmetics case so I may actually use it as a clutch bag I just think it's so lovely I love it it's a great size and I think probably in the style of the Antigona bags you can probably fit more in here than you would imagine because like with my Antigona you can fit so much in that bag I'm hoping that that will be the same with this there's definitely enough space in here to fit kind of a phone and keys and probably a small wallet or a card holder it's a good enough size to be able to use it as a clutch bag obviously it's a great size as well for a cosmetics case if you wanted to use it for that too. I love this so much. This was such a great gift and I'll treasure this because it was such a lovely surprise to get this. I'd never seen it before and I'm so so happy to have this. A lovely lovely Christmas gift. Really excited by this. So those are all the bits and pieces that I'm going to share with you guys of the bits that I was very very fortunate enough to receive for Christmas this year. I also got kind of bits and pieces like pyjamas and an organiser and kind of gift vouchers which I love. That's such a great present because then it means so I can go into a shop and not have to obviously spend my own money. It's there on a voucher, which is always very gratefully received. I got those from kind of the white company, Zara, uh, Next, and I think Topshop as well. So those were really, really gratefully received. And just a few other lovely little bits and pieces that I've put away. And I just thought these were the main things that I wanted to share with you guys for this video. Again, I'm so, so sorry for the delay in putting this video up. It was just a complete nightmare, and obviously a gas leak is very unexpected. So, it wasn't something I had planned, and therefore this video was late. So, massive apologies for that. But, I genuinely appreciate all of your support. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please give me a very happy thumbs up if you did enjoy it. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. It truly means so, so much to me. And I'm so, so grateful for you guys, for your lovely comments and for your support. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas and a very, very happy 2017 to all of you. I hope that this year brings you all good things and that you are happy and healthy and have a really great year. Thank you again so, so much for watching, and I will see you again very soon in my next video. Take care, guys. Bye.